Hello there, how are you doing? Well, it's a week since I last spoke to you. I've just come home from surgery. I took you through what happened during the surgery. I told you about the biopsy that was taken because of a fear that I might have rheumatoid arthritis. I don't know the results. I'll hopefully get that next week. But I've made a lot of progress. I never felt any pain after surgery. No pain at all. A little bit of tenderness, the odd bit of soreness if I moved it the wrong way. There was some tightness, but no great discomfort at all. In fact, really no discomfort. When I had the flare up in August, I would say on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no pain and 10 being agony, I probably felt a 7.5 and an 8. With this in terms of pain and discomfort, maybe a 2 at most, maybe 1.5. I've been through a lot worse before the surgery than what I'm going through now. It's absolutely wonderful. I anticipated pain and none came. I was able to lie on it the first night. In fact, I no longer take my painkillers, not even the codeine. I don't need anything. And I do my exercises three times a day. I might show you a couple of the exercises I do at the end of this video. And I'm getting a lot, lot more movement. Now, there's something I didn't tell you last time. I don't think I told you. I was very nervous about the surgery. Okay, you knew that. I was terrified. But the surgeon said something to me about the surgery, which was very positive and supportive. He told me I had the wrong attitude. He told me I need to have a more positive attitude. I was worried about the pain and recovery afterwards. He said to see it as something positive, to see it as healing pain. It's the pain of getting better. It's your body recovering. People, he said, who think positively after surgery tend to recover better than those who don't. So I've changed my attitude. As it was, I felt no pain at all after surgery. At most, occasional soreness if I move my body in the wrong way or try to overdo it but minor discomfort a lot better than oh, many times before the surgery nothing compared nothing compared to the agonizing acute flare-up that I had in August I got home I did the exercises three times a day I have a lot more movement than I did I'm extremely impressed I was able to lie on it I'm on no more painkillers as I say Next week, in a week's time, on the Wednesday, the 28th, I go to see the surgeon to have the dressings removed, to have the wounds inspected. He's also going to scan my left shoulder because that has been deteriorating. And it could be just inflammation or it could be the calcium. So we'll find out, hopefully an x-ray. But this side, look, look, I can lift it up to there. Uh, when I lie down, do one of my exercises, I have to pull my arm up. I can lift it almost to the back of my head. Now this is the first time I've tried this standing up, so look where I'm moving it now. Uh, look, it feels tight, there's no pain. It just feels very tight and tender, but no pain. And that's the furthest. I've actually lifted it, in fact, it's the first time I've done this in surgery. So you're actually witnessing the first with me. Now, I just want to tell you, I felt no pain, and when I say that after surgery, I didn't. Everyone's different. We all have different pain thresholds. I may well have a high threshold for pain. But I want you to know in my instance, I felt no pain. Just tenderness at most. So don't worry. Go into surgery with a positive attitude. Now in a moment, I'm going to show you some of the exercises that I did. But so far, it's great news. It's good news. And I can feel the difference. It's taken a weight off my mind. And okay. I may need a few months, up to five months of therapy, getting better. I basically will start the therapy with a physiotherapist two to three times a week for the next couple of months, two to three months. But the surgeon reckons I'm on course. I no longer use the sling I had. He reckons that within two to three months, I'll have 80% back. And within four to five months, 100%. So yes, it might seem a long time, but it's not going to kill me. I'm not going to get worse. I'm going to get better. And compared to the last couple of years of what I've been through, it's nothing. It's something actually to embrace. And it's something I really look forward to positively. I'm able to get on with my life. I'm able to get on with things. Remember, surgery is a last resort. But a few of us do need it. It's understandable to fear it. And occasionally, very occasionally, it can go wrong. But for the most part, it doesn't. It can improve and will improve your life. So please listen to your doctors, listen to your surgeons, listen to the experts, make up your own mind. But please let me know 
let you know that with me so far, it's going extremely well. Now I'll give you an update on what happens next week, and I'll show you a couple of my exercises now. Take care, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there, now this is one of my favourites. If you're in pain, this is a good one to do. You do this about three times a day after surgery. Okay, so you stand there, put one leg behind the other, bend over like so, lean over, it's a pendulum exercise, let your arm do the movement, don't put too much pressure on the shoulder, just swing it round. This will give you a bit more movement every day, every time you try it. It will also help release any pain you may be in. It will soothe it a bit. Do it in an anti-clockwise direction, ten times each. Then you go to a clockwise direction. You'll probably start a little bit like that. Eventually, a week later, you may be like me right now. Look at that. Getting a lot more movement. When you've done that, in circular motions, do it like this. Across, across, bring it across. Let it go like that. Ten times. Then do it the other way ten times, like this. Bending over, remember. Go as far as you can, but don't let it get too painful. Like so, ten times. Okay, this is another exercise I do. Arch your back, like this, take it down, arch your back, hold for ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, and again for 10 seconds. Do it 10 times, three times a day. Okay, you lie on a bed like this. Put your hand on your stomach. That's the hand of the shoulder that was operated on. You take it to your side, like so. Go to your pain barriers, but don't push it too much. A little bit more each time, and it'll get easier every time you do it. You may well start just like this. It'll get easier, so you'll be doing this before you know it. This is a week later, I can do this at your own pace. Finally, grab the wrist of the shoulder that was operated on, with the other hand, like this, bring it up. You'll probably end up starting like this, or a little bit lower down. And then hopefully a week later, you'll bring it back, you try and straighten it behind your head, like so, like this. Take it down again, at your own pace, bring it back up again, like that, hold it there a little bit, take it down. As with all the other exercises, do it ten times a day, well three times a day, or ten times three times a day. I got there in the end. Do it ten times three times a day. Remember, your own hospital or physiotherapist or surgeon may give you different exercises that will all be very similar for the same types. Good luck. I have put I have put information at the bottom of this video and I have put links to what I've got, calcific tendonitis, information on the surgery, etc. So all the info is just on this video. Good luck. Don't worry. It will get better. Take care. Bye-bye.